Chris Borland was one of the NFL's most promising rookies last season. But on Monday, Borland announced his retirement from the San Francisco 49ers over concerns about the long-term effects of head trauma. He is just 24 years old, but says the risk of playing are not worth the rewards. Chris Borland joins us to discuss his decision in his first live television interview since his decision. Welcome. Thank, thank you, thank for, you for coming me. here. Absolutely. Uh, walk us through how you came to make this decision. Well, I'd always been aware of the dangers, or I thought I was. Um, in fall camp last year, sustained a hit, and it was nothing out of the ordinary for a linebacker, um, a physical play, and just thought to myself after that, um, is this the route I'm going to go? Um, how many times am I going to do this? For how long? And what are the real consequences? So it triggered a change in thought for me. Uh, and subsequently, I did a lot of research and ultimately came to the conclusion that, no, it's, it wasn't worth it for me personally. So that one hit set you in the process. Was it a concussion? Was it? Yeah, you know, I thought so. Um, there's a lot of uh, vernacular in, in football about getting your bell rung or getting dinged, and it was one of those instances. Um, the hit itself wasn't cataclysmic. It just ch changed the way I uh, approached the game. And you realized that if you continue to play the game, you might suffer permanent brain damage. That was your conclusion. That was my conclusion. Um, you know, people talk about knowing the risk going in, and I think guys understand, of course, it's not good for you, um, but I don't think even the top neurologists truly understand the risks and the connections. So um, that's what I found in my research, and it's just too much unknown for me, and there's been too many uh, tragedies for me to be comfortable playing. But there must have been people who said to you, you're crazy, you're giving up so much money, so much fame, such a career. Yeah. Um, and I am, and I, I understand that, and uh, maybe they're right. I, I could be wrong. I hope I am. Um, you know, however, I don't, that's a difficult conversation to have with families who've lost loved ones about how important it is to make a lot of money playing football. Did you think that your, your decision would attract this much attention? Uh, I didn't, what did honestly. You, what did you think? <laughs> um, I didn't know what to think. Um, last week I spoke with a neurologist, and we had a good conversation about a lot of things, and then I said, you know, is this a lightning rod issue? Is this going to gain a lot of attention? And he said, no, you'll be at the, at the ticker at the bottom of ESPN one day. Yeah. Uh, and it's obviously uh, gone further than that, which wasn't my intent. And I'm not really particularly interested in, in having uh, in-depth conversations about it. However, while it's in the spotlight, I think there's been enough former players who've suffered and future players who ha whose health might be at risk. So um, it's important to talk about the information that's available. But you're saying, Chris, you don't want to be the poster boy. You don't want to raise a banner about this issue. And the NFL is saying, listen, Football today is safer than it's ever been. You can get more injuries falling off of a bicycle. Yeah, and I don't, but um, the dangers are inherent to the game. You can ride a bicycle, and, and the act of riding a bicycle isn't causing brain trauma. Yeah, you could fall, but that's if something goes wrong. Everything could go right in football, um, and it's still dangerous, which isn't an uh, indictment of the game. I think if you love it and you, you think it's worth it, you should play. Um, the, the important factor is that it's an informed individual choice. You've heard from teammates. What, what have they said? Um, it was difficult, and they've, uh, you know, I think they wish I was playing some of them, but they understand where I'm coming from, and they know the type of guy I am, that it's well-researched, and I'm passionate about it. So I've, I have their support, guys I've played with, um, guys I've looked up to who've played before me. And uh, the most uh, meaningful thing has been former players who've struggled, who've reached out. That's been really um, touching. Can football change so that uh, the concerns you have uh, will be met? Um, that's a big topic, and I don't know if I can tackle that. Um, but I think there's a lot of things that can change. I think waiting is, is a good idea. Um, brevity might be a, a good idea, just playing a smaller amount of time. Um, but no, I think the game's inherently dangerous, which isn't all bad. Um, we don't need to be uh, overly um, cautious, but you should be smart. You had actually made this decision before the season started. Yeah. Were you worried about how and when you would tell your team? Yeah, it was important to me. I think um, the 49ers drafted me assuming I, w I wanted to play more than one year, and at the time I, I did too. Um, things changed, and uh, they didn't deserve to be undercut, and I didn't want that to happen. Um, but ultimately, I think my individual health was important. So after the season, I tried to talk to many as, as many people as possible. Um, at the same time, I wanted to let them know before the end of free agency, certainly before the draft, um, so they could 
make the arrangements for finding my replacement. And when you told them, what did they say? They were supportive. The organizations have been great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they understand. Uh, they asked you if you wanted to meet with someone else, though, didn't they? Yeah, they did, and which I think is good. I think you should talk to as many people as possible. Um, but um, they've been great to me. So what are you going to do now? I think I'm going to go back to school, um, have huh? some interesting opportunities. Um, I was a history undergrad, and um, there's some things I could do um, in academics or business. So um, need to learn more, but um, mm -hmm. there's a lot on the table. Do you want to teach? Professor Borland? Yeah. You want to teach? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Professor uh, Borland? Is yeah. Potentially. We'll see. There's, there's uh, a lot could happen. All right, Chris. Very courageous decision. Thank you so much yeah. for coming. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thanks, Chris. Today. Fascinating.